Hello, I'm Lofi. I'm Jinxie. And we are back for Nancy Drew episode three. Yes! We've got three days. Three days till death caused by the Aglaica, as the sea shanty has said. In the or the secret, secret code. Message. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it that was, was so good. good it was so good. So we had a lot of character development between Nick, um, Nick's mom, and George. And then also Nancy finding out that George and Nick were dating, but also Nancy starting to forgive Carson or yes. like being able to even think about forgiving Carson. Because they might die in three days. And also with the help of Ace, because he was really concerned about it. And so he was talking to Carson and such, um, just making sure everybody's all good. <laughs> yeah. Which is sweet. There was someone who called the Glaco before them. I'm sure there's plenty yeah. of others who did, but uh, Mac and his group of ghosts that we'd seen in I season know. one who uh, were all killed by the Aglaica. I still I still just love that throwback. Yeah. Whether it was planned or not, it was great. It worked out well. And <laughs> I'm still laughing about the whole friggin' Nick being just like, so I'm black. And that's why <laughs> he thinks I'm funny. Because right? he's the only black guy he knows. Right. <laughs> it just cracked me up so hard. I was like, oh. There's actually a lot of like kind of racial racial awareness. Uh, Yes, in the last episode, which I thought was really cool, but Agreed. it was talked about kind of casually, like it was a fact of life for Nick's mom about how she had to raise him in that particular way um, because of society. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I thought it was well, well done. It was super Definitely. integrated into the episode. Uh, I, st- I loved the development with the mystery, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, AJ is not dead. AJ somehow avoided the Aglaica, we assume, with some kind of clue thing. We have no idea. And we suspect he might be in some relation to the cop, but that could be a trick. Yeah, We're that could be us overreading into things, yeah. but it would be cool if it was. Yeah, yeah. We also discovered a little bit more about the Aglaica herself, um, yes. about how she'd been betrayed by the Marvins and her chaperone, which we suspect is a Hudson. Yes. Yeah, the, the chaperone would be a Hudson, and then that Marv- the Marvins married the Aglaica, or what was her name? Don- Odette. Odette. One of my favorite names, Yeah, actually. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and now she is very um ossidious. no what, what, what was the word i like to use that oh. odious I don't know. odious odette <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not her fault they did this and then didn't pay the toll so i'm well, really interested in that original mystery as well about what happened to her how did she even become the aglaica was she just a normal girl and then was able to become the aglaica or did she have powers beforehand well i feel like it's one of those revenge like you know as you die you make an oath kind of things yeah that'd be so cool I, I also wonder since in this case i'm sure this didn't happen in the other times the aglaica were called in this case you have a hudson and a marvin involved yeah, like what true. if they're able to break the curse and set her mm-hmm. free because of like sort of the full circle event like if they show remorse yeah. well we also have the mystery of what happened to the orphanage? Yes, because, yeah, uh, Carson didn't even really... You can't start, look for it. Yeah. He just knew it had closed up. So like, what scandal happened there? Yeah. yeah, and we know it closed before the Aglaica was called because they were all adults by that point. But I wonder yeah. if it is related at all. Maybe. And the place was, like, left fully stocked. Like, yeah, it like looks it like... It out. I love that there's so many, like, mysteries already set up for the start of the season. Just, like, bam, straight into it. Right? Let's get into the episode. Yeah. Should you even be here? I tried staying at home. When my mom is out of town, my dad and I just argue, so this feels a lot better. I love how she's so worried about him. She doesn't want him to the meat hooks. What are you saying? We just throw the bones back into the sea and the Aglaica calls off everything? I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, bingo. No more death sentence. I mean, if you could, sure. But the cop also has a piece of the skull. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's where it comes into play. I mean, you might as well try everything, to be honest. I found it, and I hid it from Detective Tamara, and I thought you took it. No. How would you take it? Yeah. I think she's just hoping you would. Hoping yeah. you did. And then they, you know, got distracted by other things. Poor Bess looks stressed. Lily's Garden, can I help you? I'm what getting married this yeah. afternoon. 150 guests. <laughs> My florist was just extradited. Oh, big day. Big, big. I really hope they are giving her the business, though. <laughs> Otherwise, that's so cruel. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they got the money. I mean, Nick has the money. Bingo. Ooh, phone number. Phone number. Yep. You have got to be kidding me. What, do you know Hudson? it? Is it a detective? You reached the law office of Carson oh! Drew. Carson Drew. One of his uh, clients, I'm guessing. Yeah. What was the... I can't remember what the tag said. Oh, no, 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 wait. Because it was from... It can't be from Carson Drew because it said Kitsune on it. 
Yeah, no, it's probably because. that maybe he doesn't live there anymore. So, like, he ha- his lawyer is the one yeah. who's providing it. Oh, maybe he auto does it. Kitten! Doggy! Not a cat, it's a dog. Sorry. She just calls Story all animals life. kittens. All animals are cats to me now. He's gonna be like, this is what you want to talk about. You want to talk oh, about some flowers? No. Okay, okay. But, I mean, are you gonna tell him the truth about why you need it? That you call out, summoned a ghost and now you're gonna oh, die in three days? Why do you send flowers to the same five graves at Hillside Cemetery every year on the same day? <laughs> what? Five graves? Hillside Cemetery? You didn't even give him a moment. That's what you want to talk about? <laughs> Poor Carson. I was hoping that maybe you were ready to... Oh, I don't know if I'll ever be ready for that. She is starting to get ready, but... Yeah. She needs time. AJ Nishiyama. He goes by AJ Crane. You've probably AJ seen Crane. his books. AJ oh. Crane? Oh. The horror novelist? Oh, cool! I won't give you his address. But I'll take you there. It's a two-hour <laughs> drive. Negotiation like nice. a true lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe the cop's not related. They he just lost a pet the whole time. What? I mean, sometimes just spending time with somebody and not talking is better. He was eccentric and prickly 15 years ago, and I can only reason. imagine it's gotten worse. So. Oh. I hope we could just see some of his novels. I'm very intrigued. I know, me is too. He... The horror novelist? The question is, did he get out of it, or is he just still hiding from the Iglaica? I mean, I, I guess know. he can't really Which, hide from the Iglaica. The thing Iglaica. is, if he's hiding from the Iglaica, what does this do bringing Nancy there? Yeah. Like, does it expose him? I'm gonna feel real bad if Nancy gets him killed. <laughs> I don't know that you can hide that way, though, because it dies. Hey, Jay. I mean, they die. Sorry to bother you. You're I would have called, but you don't have a phone, so people don't bother me. How are they dead and you're not? Nancy, what kind of question is that? You got a portent, didn't you? How'd she survive it? My seven days are almost up. And I'm... Ooh. Mm-hmm. She did. She let him there. I'm so worried. What is that? What, what, are, you, what are you looking at? I can't help you. You don't want what I have. Oh, did he do like some kind of other? Oh, a different deal. Yeah. Please stop. No. Please, no. AJ. Ooh, look like scratch marks all, all over the front door. Yeah. So it's more like. Did he make a deal with a different being or something? Oh. So it's more like. He's haunted, essentially. Yeah. Actually, can't get to him, but he's haunted. But it means he can't leave the house. AJ Crane. Like the AJ Crane. I've read all of his books. Did you meet him? <laughs> this is a horror fan. Of course she is. She loves supernatural things. Is it possible that it could repel the Aglaica? Oh, I could check the archives. <laughs> you took it, Nancy. How girl. rude. <laughs> Hannah's got to deal with everybody's messes. Hey, wh- what if we just returned Lucy's bones to the Aglaica? What? Back into the ocean? No. Why? Well, I could cancel the curse. That's her mother. You can't just send her bones out there. Everyone wants to try this. When were you all gonna tell me? I'm telling you now. I mean, it's her mom, and it's someone that she has a connection to because of Lucy's ghost haunting her. So, Lucy wanted to be found so badly. So the evidence room security was left. Damn it. Uh... Too many civilians in and out. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, what with the human skull that you found, you don't want a lot of people just popping in to say hello. What human skull? <laughs> you never turned it in. Thanks for the clue, bro. Yep. So clever, Ace. You're breaking into his office. Ace is particularly unconcerned with the police. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. I, I wish he had a lookout at least. I could just text him from outside. He's yeah, but if in. there was two of them, it'd be more suspicious, I feel like. You think he's just going to have the human skull just in a... It was sitting on his desk Is it in his lunchbox? It's totally in the lunchbox. Ooh, hope not. Yep. They get and go. Yep. Put it in your yeah, pocket yeah. and book it out, dude. I'm part of his family, too. <laughs> <laughs> Sneaky dad move. Uh, I'll be there. Be there, see you tonight, sundown. <laughs> Aww. Well, he's dealing with so much stress, I think, like, because he him and his dad don't necessarily get along that well that he doesn't want that added stress, but... Well, I think it's because, like, his mind, I realized, like, his mind was on, oh, no, we're gonna die, I need to get to work on this, but then, like, oh, no, we're gonna die, I need to spend time with my dad. Yeah. 
I came because if we have less than three days left, I don't want to be apart for any of it. Me neither. Aw. It's not fair. <laughs> How are you at right I know, now? I'm like, I hope they are not in Nancy's house. Oh, no. Oh, oh. My, oh my God, Nancy. Oh, I, we, we, we were just, no, um, I, uh, uh, Look, I don't need details. <laughs> I know, yeah. right? In the living room, though, guys. I know. <laughs> Heat of the moment, death on the line, all that yeah. jazz. <laughs> Nancy's just like, <laughs> seriously. Hello? Where's your daughter, Drew? Oh, is it because she took the talisman? Took something of mine, and now hell is coming for her. Oh, no. Does it literally mean hell is coming for her? Like, the Glaco can't get in because he's surrounded by something else more evil? Yeah. Think so? Oh, oh no, but Hannah has it. Oh no, Nancy does have it. it. Sorry, Nancy, but at least you like, you know, you brought yourself into it. Oh shit, Nancy. You should have thought ahead. You should have just taken a picture of it. Get rid of it. It's bait for the most vicious and dangerous ghosts in the area. Nancy, you need to get Hannah? Nancy, you just get rid of it! Oh <laughs> gosh. Oh, this is in the trailer. Oh my god. Why well, would just get out of the house? I know. Don't look back. Oh. <sighs> Cover your ears. Do it. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I guess he knows how to handle it, though. Hopefully, hope he's okay. Just a little beat up. Oh no. Police. AJ Crane. What? Father asked me to check the house. My father. Under arrest for breaking and enter. He didn't break and enter. Nancy, just say you didn't break or enter. Didn't do it. This is... I need to talk to him. You can't... What? This makes no sense. Well, I, I mean, I guess Carson thinks that he's kind of like a hermit creepo. Like he's making it up, I guess? No, no, no. Oh. That, that he's willing to go for Nancy after this talisman that oh, just yeah. go, you know, kind of thing. Well, why don't he just... Why don't you just call Carson and tell them that's not the case? Need a favor. See, that right there, mm -hmm. that's the opposite of unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> think about all the times I didn't ask you for money or braces or dance lessons or keys to the Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> But it might have been at that point it was out of, like, Carson's hands and yeah. the detective just being a jerk. Yeah, I know. Like, I wonder if he's just like, hey, can you go check on it? Yeah. Because this guy who's kind of creepy is threatening my daughter. Or, yeah. well, he thinks he's threatening her, you know? No. <laughs> oh, no. Can't she still kill him or is she just haunting oh, no. him? Doesn't she just kill in that particular way, though? Like, in the portent way, whatever the portent is? Friends? Family? Hey, what? Oh, shit. He day. better not take oh, he saw. the go yeah. back. Like, oh, hey, he I need to run out for a second. The same day that I visited the police station, you got yourself invited to dinner. Here. Oh, my God. Don't be amazing. suspicious. Age. They both know. No bones about it. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> You're like, I know, you know, that I know, that you know. <laughs> they know. <laughs> Call Bess and be like, hey, Bess, why don't you come and join us for Shabbat? Here's the thought. What, uh, why don't we let our guest... Say the mozi. <laughs> see if he even knows what it is. He wants to see if he's telling the truth or not. I got Ace. Do not be suspicious right now. Baruch atah Aronai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamozi lechem min haaretz. Maybe he is actually half. I Poor can sing Ace. it too, you guys. Oh, that's okay. He can't hear you look hungry. We should just... <laughs> oh, God. So gonna... <laughs> I mean, I don't really think words. that the detective would be would lie to him about being half Jewish. Like, yeah, I no, feel like that kind of go that, against yeah. your personal character. But... They pulled the three-year-old girl out of the wreckage. She wasn't expected to survive the night. It was our fault. We had to do something. So you called to the Eglika. The little girl... After she got out of the burn unit, she was adopted by a couple that ran the historical system. I was wondering, like, is that Hannah? Because of her burns? I was wondering. I forgot about her burns. I just didn't think the age was right. Try anything. Just don't end up like mm, me. You have to do it. Are you gonna be all right? Get the hell out! What if you gave them Owen's body? Didn't they like a what Owen? I don't think it works that way. Best? I'm yeah. in. Let's give that bitch the bones back. Uh, I mean, it totally sucks, but... Oh, and also, I don't think this is well, gonna I work, mean, frankly, but... The truth is out. Lucy's already, like, at rest. You know, it wasn't about yeah. the bones being found. It was about the truth coming out. About Lu uh, About Nancy knowing who she mm -hmm. is. Sexy music. I actually feel like something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> like they're gonna get a scare. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Can I kiss you? You know this was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's just when people make sex plans, often things go wrong. I know. <laughs> like, uh, like Nancy's called me like, all right, let's do the bones thing. <laughs> 
But mm -hmm. yeah, you can't just forget about death, you know. We've just been trying to ignore it so much. The past it's like few too days. much pressure. Not in the mood now. Just thinking about her death. Trying so hard to be okay when there's nothing okay about the situation. All I can think about is what's waiting for us. For the both of us. Me too. Maybe we should just cuddle and like turn a cheesy movie. She doesn't want to sleep with him just because they're gonna die. She wants to sleep with him because she wants to. Detective, I don't know what you're talking about. Did you misplace something? Listen to me, you walking haircut. Oh, <gasps> rude. Uh huh. I found a human skull bone in the claw, and this afternoon that bone went missing from my office. You found a human oh, bone God. at the claw? Okay, Brando, <laughs> dial it down. <laughs> oh, Ace. Why was a human bone in your office? Not the evidence. For Enough. I'm going to search you, search your room until I find it. Can't legally do that. Not without yep. a warrant. Yes. I mean, his dad's going to be pissed at him, but... He says this is his house and his son whom he trusts, so... If you want to search, go see a judge. Oh, Ace's dad is so good. I, I think Ace needs to tell his dad. I think it would have been different if he had, like, gone to his dad and been front up, but yeah. using, like, the dinner as a trick. Yeah, exactly. Can't. My friends and I, we, th we think that we're gonna fix it tonight. Oh, I hope tomorrow does not follow him. Oh my god, I love Ace's dad! The parents in this show is so great, honestly. They really are. Which I love. So many shows don't have that. Will this work? Will this work? I think not, but maybe it'll do something. I hope. Because, I mean, I don't want the Glaika going after them the whole season. Yeah. But... Well, it's not a whole season. They've yeah. only got three days left. Technically, two days now, I think, based off where they are at. A Glaika, guardian of the mighty sea, you hateful, vindictive, sex life stealing more <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be kind here. I mean, maybe Lucy's ghost can put in a good word. Oh, my God. Oh, no oh she took it back. Yeah, but is it going to be enough? In one of his books, The Cold Cell, the guy spends three years researching the company who manufactures the prison's bars, doors, and hinges. It's in the hinges. Check the hinges. <laughs> <laughs> That's so ridiculous. It's yeah. so funny. Get their help. We're going to have a real come to Jesus when this is over. <laughs> but why is he even still in jail? Like, why? Oh, I mean, Jesus. I guess we are breaking the jail's bad. Our mitzvah. Let's pick a lane. <laughs> AJ was spotted on Chestnut Street. Hey, that's a historical society. Oh shit, is he gonna kill Hannah? Huh? Oh no, oh no. I mean, 44 years of being haunted by this ghost. It, it's like your brain, uh I, I mean, mean, he made that I'm decision gonna, in, yeah. in the past, but. I'm not gonna say like, I, I mean, this is a bad thing to do, but I get how his mind could be kind of yeah. broken. Or on the other hand, maybe he just maybe wants just to see her sorry. before he lets himself die. Oh, you know what I mean? Kind yeah, of like I don't see, know. see what good he did. Oh, I really hope that he's not trying to kill her, and that maybe he's just like, I just need to know about you and your life, and know that it was worth it. Because I, I seem, I liked AJ. I don't want him yeah. to be a villain. Oh my god. Is she just asleep? Please tell me she's asleep. AJ? <gasps> no. Oh. I let the worst kind of monsters destroy me every single day. I'm through. You think that this ends your suffering? It just restarts it anew. Be worse. You can't avoid the monster when it's you. You are not a monster. You are a survivor. I don't want AJ. I know you're desperate, but uh, I know. Please don't. Please don't. Good. You're not that person. Like, oh my God. just the moments relapse. You know, he would have regretted it. All those years alone. Your demons are just, just another way of being dead. The Iglaika can have whatever's left of me. Oh. Maybe she she'll leave you alone. Up. I don't think she's gonna leave him alone. I know. I don't think Iglaika's necessarily done with them either. I don't know. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I do wonder if she you know she as a Hudson made this promise of like what we took from you know, yeah. we'll give back. Oh, like her fortune. Yeah. <laughs> like she made a different promise and she didn't yeah. even know it. Oh no, it's Lucy's bones. No return policy. Oh shit. I hate this store. <laughs> Dramatic. Uh, I know, you could have just left it. Maybe you need to like out the truth. 
like, of what actually happened to her. I mean, that's what Lucy wanted. Lucy just wanted the truth out yeah. to, for her to know that she was her daughter. Well, even not, even if you know, maybe there's something that you can find out about her that you can use, you know? Well, I feel like maybe even if the truth just came out about the Markins and Hudsons yeah. manipulating her, and then they mm-hmm. lose their standing knowing that they're, like, you know, I mean, it honestly won't matter in, like, today's terms, but... Writer A.J. Crane was killed Friday when an errant weather vane fell from a rooftop and impaled him in front of horrified residents. He predicted his own death in his recent bestseller. He died alone. Oh, Well, now I know how he died in his freak accident. <laughs> I don't care anymore. We're still here, and the Inglake doesn't get to ruin everything. We're reclaiming your truck. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say goodbye to my mother. To Lucy and I was just wondering if you wanted to come with me. Mm. So happy this is happening and they're batching up. Did you maybe want to invite Ryan? Carson's so nice. Huh. No. Did she already? Yeah, she yeah. Did. Good. You guys patch up so she can have no, two dads, please. Start to heal a little bit. All right, dads, get to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On a side note, pretty sure this is illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Rise and shine, you crazy kids. We're going on a field trip. Hey, you reclaim the truck. That's a bull move. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, best. Uh, where are you going on a field trip to? Surely, I mean, maybe he even wrote clues into his books in some way, you know? Like, if that work inspired him to write. Well, oh, there might be something he didn't realize was, like, an option, you know? It was one versus five. And all of his notes are here. Yeah. Yeah, it's like being inside the brain of a crazy man. Crazy man who might have the info you need. Yeah, or at least things that didn't work. He never got the chance to try it. So there we go. We, 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 we finished I the box. I don't and we honestly the think that would work either. I mean, try them all. Okay, guys, what was that? That would be all the evil spirits in the area. Can't you just bury it somewhere else in the woods? Nancy, why are you grabbing one thing? You have more hands than this. Oh, well, I can't supposed to like grab whatever you can, and I feel like they just didn't grab a lot. I know, right? I look like a lady. They're in like a weirdo. I know. No, don't look at us. Oh god. <laughs> Every single time she does that, it's so crazy. Oh, because they add the sound effect, the bones cracking. <gasps> well, also, they don't normally do a fourth wall break so far in Nancy, but they have with the Aglaica, so. Yeah. Because Ooh. she is the ultimate villain. Yes. Or not even villain, you know. I guess at this point, she is a villain. You know, yeah, She might have right. not been originally, but yeah. just because you had a bad start or a bad death, it doesn't mean you should be a vengeance villain, yeah. vengeance demon going yes. against good people, right. trying to solve, yeah. like, do good things. Every time we watch an episode, I forget that the only people who know Nancy is Lucy's daughter is, like, her friend group. Mm-hmm. So every time the detective's, like, going on about the bones or whatever, I'm like, but yeah. it's her mom's bones. Oh, I wait. Know, right? Oh, wait. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Oh, wait. Because well, also the thing is, she didn't know those were Lucy's bones either. Yeah, yeah. You but I mean, it was like, a random bone she would have necessarily been able to claim it kind of thing. If, yeah, yeah. You know, like but... Mother's. But he's obviously, he's trying to investigate this outside the book, considering he didn't yeah. check in the human skull. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if he's doing that because he suspects Nancy, or if he does, like, you know, he thinks Nancy's a good person, but he doesn't think it's responsible for her to be investigating things that are dangerous. So he's, like, not wanting to get her in that kind of trouble, but he also doesn't want her to solve mysteries on her own because it's dangerous. Yeah, it's interesting, his thing, because as the best already said, uh, he doesn't like us. However, I haven't seen any really, like, evidence of him not liking them. He seems... Kind of like a hothead cop when he was at the dinner or whatever. Mm-hmm. But when they're when he's talking with Nancy in the group, he never says, don't investigate, stay out of this, blah, blah, blah. He makes sarcastic jokes about it. But even now, when he called, he asked if they knew how A.J. Crane got out and <laughs> literally took Bess's advice to check the hinges. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't feel like he's preventing them from necessarily investigating things. I th- yeah, because I don't think but it's necessary that he does it. For me, Like I don't know if it's that he doesn't like them or... Mm-hmm as more of it's the perspective of you're going about this the wrong way like i'm a cop that's my job Mm -hmm. i'm an adult you're a bunch of kids investigating things that you're not trained for and get over your head you might like damage evidence that kind of thing i don't feel like it's like a oh i hate you you're causing me problems i think it's a you're not supposed to be doing this i'm the it's like you know like they're the kid and i'm the parent you're like that's my job i'm the parent i still feel like that there's something else going on with him yeah there's something some other mystery going on with him 
which I'm not sure if it's related to Lucy's bone or not, like, that he thought it was related to a particular investigation that he's investigating off the books or something oh, like that. Maybe, you know, like, like some something else history. is going on. Yeah. Um, well, that could be. Maybe he came back to town for a reason. Yeah. That's, what, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting, but mm-hmm. I, I can't be for certain yet. I feel like he's... Uh, character we just know very little about. I don't dislike him, though. Like, honestly, as sort of, like, this cop, like, hard-headed figure goes, actually, I don't dislike him. In fact, the fact that we're intrigued by him is really good. Because that's what I was so worried about, of just being like, ugh. You know, like, the overbearing cop figure. But no, he doesn't like them getting in his way, but he also, like, is using the value they have, at least. And there's, like, some humor that came out of that situation with the dinner with Ace. Yeah, no Um, bones about it. And then we got the thing with, um with Ace's dad, which I thought was really good about how supportive he is. And also, like, obviously how supportive Carson is of Nancy. I just love that aspect about the show when we saw Nick's mom last episode. Their connection with the kids, but not not doing stuff for them, but also trusting them, but not trusting them too much. <laughs> trusting them that they're not you're supposed to. Yes. Not you're supposed to trust your 19-year-old. Yeah. So. <laughs> and that they have distinctive personalities as parents, too. They're not just, like, bland one-note parents. They have their own lives, interesting things, mm-hmm. you know, of Ace's dad working and not telling Ace about it. And, you yeah. know, it's not like he's just a figurehead that's there. He, like, has his own backstory in his own life. Plus, we got to see Nancy, Carson, and Ryan hang out for once together. And, I, you know, I'd like that more because I want her to have that support system of both of them instead of this antagonistic thing where she's alone. I wonder if we're ever going to meet Ace's mom. Yeah, I know. She's never there. Interesting. Maybe they just haven't cast her, you know? Maybe, like, season three, they'll be like, all right, let's bring Ace's mom in. Yeah, right, maybe. (laughs) They're leaving their options open for her. (laughs) So quick talk about the Aglaica. We knew that the Bones thing wasn't going to work. But I was like, try it, you know? Yes, I'm so desperate for them to find out more about the Aglaica, and I'm really sad they didn't make any progress on that mystery in this episode. But it's only episode three, so... Yeah. You gotta spread it out, so... But I mean, they only have got two days left to die. I did like to not the... die, but I I did lo- like the bit with AJ, and then also finding out how oh, Hannah yeah. tied in because yes, once agreed. he said like this little girl with burns, I was like in my head, I'm like, is that Hannah? Which I did, I totally forgot about the burns. But I, so. I, well, because I thought about it, but then I was like, oh, I don't think that matches age wise. But then I was like, yeah. oh no, she was already three. But I I just feel like she sh- looked like she would be older than that. Mm-hmm. And the whole thing actually towards the end, I think you can get kind of get the theme of the episode because it also ties in with. George and Nick's thing about how they think about how they're feeling about death and stuff. Mm-hmm. His concern over dying basically put himself in a box, but not really living. Death. And it's kind of the same thing with the George and Nick situation where their concern over death has stopped them from living, has stopped them from moving on with their relationship because of the fear that they're going to die in a couple of yeah. days. I would also thought it might tie in a little bit to Carson as well, too, you know, keeping this sort of secret for this long it like it holds like holds you heavy like obviously aj's secret is a little bit more like life consuming but you know carson was still holding the secret about nancy's like parent parentship parenthood maybe now that that's out there can be like a different kind of growth the thing with aj it was so creepy when the ghost showed up but also i really loved that he was a miss or um, a horror writer yeah and he'd been like a hermit (laughs) and and, um, I also really like that actor. I don't know what else I've seen him in, but I know I've yeah. seen him in things, and I've always enjoyed him. And the fa- and then the whole thing of, he actually comes off as, like, quite a nice guy throughout the episode. Like, yeah. how he was willing to help Nancy with the talisman, trying to get it back because it was hurt her. Even though Carson kind of misconstrued it because he's Which so aggressive sense. over the yeah. phone and also kind of like this weirdo hermit. Which makes sense he's aggressive, because one, he knows yeah. her life's in danger. Two, he doesn't really talk to people. Yeah, so I totally don't, I totally understand Carson calling the cops yeah. on this creep who is, like, threatening your daughter thing. Right. Um, she took something of mine. But, so then he went and getting the talisman and telling her to hide under the table and stuff. Mm-hmm. And how finding out they were trying to save a, a child's life, even though they caused the accident themselves. So then with the turnaround to discover that he's willing to kill Hannah to get out of this situation, I thought was a really good kind of plot twist. And then when Nancy says, you can't escape from the monster if the monster's yourself mm-hmm. or whatever, I thought that was so good. Because I think that huge part of what the Iglaica re- is revealing about them is kind of like their inner demons. Mm-hmm. I thought that that was really well done. And then AJ just letting go and being like, I can't keep yeah. living like this. Oh. This isn't real life. I haven't lived anything. But then that, that he dies at the end with like the weather oh, vane. God, it just brings vein. back so much for, for the rest of them. It's like, well, there it is right in your face. Your mm-hmm. fate. 44 years later, you still can't avoid it. Yeah. So they have to find a different way. I kind of hope that they don't just trap the Iglaica. 
you know? I, don't think- I want it to go deeper, like, more, kind of like how Lucy's was deeper. Like, you thought it was just finding out who killed her, but no, it's actually about finding out the truth about, like, Nancy and all that. I so I really hope we get that thing season going to work anyway, the trapping yeah. the Aglaica. Um, so I hope they don't put too much focus on it. I right. feel like at like, least a couple episodes we'll, we'll get a bit. Well, a couple episodes will be dead. Well, it's only if they're doing an episode a day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've had ones that were like half a day. I don't know. So, but still, it's keeping me really interested. I'm really excited to see like how it goes, yes. what they're going to do. Let us know your thoughts, how you felt about this episode. You know, all your theories and such down below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps us out a lot. And we will see you all in the next episode. Bye. Bye. I don't know if I was really quiet for this episode or if I'm kind of like in that weird phase where I don't remember what we just did. So can you even turn on? Uh, oh, no, I hit a button. Wow, you turned on the editing <laughs> software. Nice. Uh, nope. Uh. <laughs>